So I'm sitting here with my coffee and I'm looking at some videos that I've shot and I've realized that I wanted to take a little bit more of a further look into the Panasonic Lumix S5 and what the optimal autofocus settings are for the camera. I posted a video a couple days ago comparing the EOS R5 and the Panasonic Lumix S5. And the funny thing is, I actually had varied results with both cameras. Uh, there were some instances on the R5 where it took a while to, to get me into focus. It seems like with the Lumix S5, once it has you in focus, it's really sticky. And you don't have to worry about um, the autofocus losing you. But that begs the question, what are the best autofocus settings to really get locked on and which ones are the best for not getting that um, all too intrusive background pulse that we all know Panasonic cameras have. I would like to take a look at some different settings. I've got three sets of autofocus settings. Now on the S5, I'm filming in 4K, 24P. I've got the shutter speed at one over 50. The picture profile I've selected is Sen D2. And at this point, I don't believe picture profiles actually make a difference in autofocus settings um, as compared to before where V-Log, for whatever reason, was problematic in autofocus. Panasonic has since fixed or rectified that issue and V-Log and autofocus no longer have uh, problems. So I'm choosing Send D2 because it's my go-to picture profile and it's very easy to work with in post-production and it's already a nice picture profile. You don't have to do a lot of extra work on. So I'm filming in 4K 24P Send D2 uh, using the uh, 20 to 60 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 lens and I am an AFC. So with these autofocus tests, what I'm gonna do is the same identical maneuvers in each video, just so you can see which ones make the most sense for this kind of video, you know, a talking head or a vlog. And with this camera and lens setup, that is kind of the ideal use of it anyway, I would think, considering it is a wide enough lens. Um, so let's take a look. So anyway, that's all for autofocus settings for today. I wanted to share those settings with you and see which ones that you find best or if you have an alternative set of, uh, of values for the autofocus. For me, I'm currently in the second set that I tested, which is having the speed at zero and the sensitivity at plus three. This seems to be the most reliable and consistent settings for autofocus. But again, if you have anything alternative or if you have any input to these autofocus settings, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And if you found this video helpful or insightful, give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.